With early voting ending tomorrow and, of course, Election Day coming up quick next Tuesday, the Democratic runoff for the 30th Congressional District in Dallas is growing nastier. Accusations flew between the campaigns and the candidates today. Political reporter Jack Fink sorts it out for you. I'm happy to have your support. Give the bitter race between Democrats Jasmine Crockett and Jane Hope Hamilton led retiring veteran Congresswoman Eddie Bernice Johnson to speak at a news conference today. Johnson and Pastor Freddie Haynes previously endorsed Crockett and accused Hamilton and her campaign of lying to voters about the state representative's record. We have not had a campaign that had this much deception and lies in District 30 since its origin. And we're simply saying, come on. Let's be real. Number one, tell the truth. That's absolutely false. Hamilton responded with a news conference of her own. She's backed by State Senator Royce West of Dallas, Congressman Mark Vesey, and Dallas County Commissioner John Wiley Price. There has been a lot of deception in this campaign, and Jasmine Crockett really needs to stick with the facts and be honest with the voters. A quorum is present. Crockett supporters say Hamilton has wrongly blamed Crockett for the Republican majority's ability to pass a new elections integrity law in the Texas legislature last August. Crockett was among the Democrats who did not return to the Texas Capitol during the vote, and Hamilton said that kept her from negotiating improvements in the bill as other Democrats did. That is huge, and we needed that. We needed people to stand there and have our back. She was absent. We caught up with Crockett today, who blamed other state Democratic lawmakers for returning to the Capitol. So if anyone helped the Republicans do what is happening to people right now, specifically in my district, it's those of them that went back and actually voted. Because if they weren't there, there wasn't a vote to take. With far fewer people going to the polls in the primary runoff, political analysts say it's the campaign who gets more of their supporters to the polls who will win. In Dallas, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News. Well, coming up tonight on CBS News DFW, Jack is actually taking a deeper look at next week's primary elections happening here in North Texas. You can watch Eye on Politics. It's at 7 o'clock. Download the CBS News DFW app just by scanning the QR code you see right there on your screen. Meantime, a